Hi, I'm Chris from Fodder Group, and in this short video, we're going to discuss temperature and humidity levels when it comes to hydroponically growing fresh fodder. From humble beginnings, fodder systems have evolved from fairly basic operations. Initially with no form of internal environmental control, they ran into problems such as mould and poor growth in variable weather conditions. From around 2014, the birth of the first form of temperature control came in the shape of an RV style air conditioner. But it wasn't exactly perfect. It struggled in hot and humid conditions and the onset of mould was virtually guaranteed. In 2018, when Fodder Group came to the USA, it was clear that in order to grow fodder in all regions, something had to change. And it did. In corroboration with a company from Georgia, a new system was developed that controlled not only the temperature, but also the relative humidity and air quality. It made its debut in the summer of 2019 and was an instant success. In fact, on systems that sat outside in the Floridian sun, it performed admirably. But what were the settings that made this possible? We knew from past experience that a range of 19 degrees Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius was an ideal temperature range for growing sprouted barley fodder. But what about relative humidity? We knew that plants do well in humid environments, but if we get it even slightly wrong, mold is guaranteed. So we decided to set the relative humidity around the 60% mark to see what would happen. The results were instant and spectacular. This combined with some advanced soaking techniques has seen growing times come down to just four days on the tray. But what does the future look like? The two remaining pieces of the puzzle are airflow and air quality. Today's most sophisticated systems have begun treating the air internally to ensure mold or pathogens cannot be carried around. In the next generation of air management systems, we will most likely see air exchange introduced for the very first time. This will assist the fodder to grow even more efficiently than what we are seeing today and who knows, maybe one day we can grow in three days. I hope you have enjoyed this video and look forward to bringing you further useful information in the future.